So, I have decided to make another video. Very short one, because I'm not going to film the whole entire trip on the board. It's going to take ages, but this one will be aimed to be a uh, true battery uh, life. So, as you can see, I got battery in full. So it's 100% battery, just charged it last night. I'm going to turn the board on now and I will get the, uh, the app rolling as well. What I have done so far is I have tested, I have tested the, um, the app. I had it uh, in my truck. Just roll for a little bit, just to show you guys. I have started the video with uh, pretty much zero on a uh, total mileage and hopefully by the end of the video oh sorry not by the end of the video by the end of my day i'll see how i get on today i will be able to show you the screenshot of uh, this app that will indicate uh, how many miles i actually was able to cover on this board uh, time of the video when I started was uh, 1 40 p.m. Uh, 1 40 p.m. Uh, so that probably will give us a couple of readings. It'll give us the time of the battery from full to zero and also the mileage. I had to stop. There's quite a lot of cars around today. It is Monday. I had to, to use up a couple of my holidays. So I'm home on Monday, which is quite strange for me. But you know what? Sometimes it's actually quite nice. So, as you can see, the board is doing quite great. Uh, as I said before in my videos, uh, I am 17 and a half or 18 stone. I'm six foot uh, three or six foot four, something like that. So this board will be tested uh, to its maximum uh, because this board was actually originally designed and tested uh, using a, an eight kilogram person, I believe. Well, you see the height got nothing to do with it, but the the weight of the person that the board was uh, originally tested for was 80 kilos. I am 110, 111. So we're gonna find the park. Hopefully I'll be nice and clear. And I'm just gonna circle around in the park until I kill the battery. And uh, the information will be uh, recorded on the screen. Well, I found a nice little strip in a park, local park. The ground is quite nice, it got a couple of curves to it. So I was able to go up and down a couple of times already. I just wanted to see the surface, uh, really, before I video and fall over and make myself look silly. But as you can see, this board is real fun. I mean, the rough stuff wheels definitely pay off because I was able to uh, actually enter the park over a weird half grass, half something. I mean, you can see the ground is wet, but the board is handling quite nicely. I know there's not a lot of uh, turns going here, but brakes, brakes are awesome. Got to, got to remember to learn your brakes. Like I'm leaning back, brakes hit quite strongly, and it does stop very, very nicely. And uh, well, that's probably what I'm going to do uh, for well for God knows how long until the board dies. So I do get it quite nicely to speed on this stretch. Uh, like at the moment, as you can see, at 60 miles an hour, quite far comfortable for me. The ground is wet. Oi! See, press the brake too, too strong. But don't panic, just release it back and control the board, just release it. Whatever you do, just release the button. Don't, don't keep on holding on. And don't panic, don't try to jump off the board. Well, I'm speaking like I'm sort of pro, I'm not. But what I found it to be easier is obviously just control the board. If you stay on the board, you got more chances to stay in one piece than you jumping off the board and catching your foot on the ground and rolling over and then board flying. And pretty much board is going to catch up with you and hit you in the back. But anyway, so far, uh, we've done three miles. So actually, Maybe it's an idea to just check the 
just check the charge on a wait that's a little that's a bit dirty well they did say it's a splatter proof but well we'll find out anyway so okay i've lost one little dot out of uh one two three four five out of five so it's not too bad i still got quite i've decided not to stay in that park it was a bit boring so i'm just cruising down the local streets and uh i do achieve quite a nice speed actually uh to be honest i mean just out of curiosity is this guy gonna drive me over well, let's see if i can prove it to you guys well this is going up the hill same as i said before because i'm a heavy bloke it goes up this kind of hill spot by 12 to 14 miles an hour you can see it yourself but obviously as soon as i'm going to get uh, to a straight road that speed will pick up i will see if i can get anything close to 20. it's not still not the straightest road so right now i'm on full forward i'm able to get about 18 19 but again I was going up the hill slightly so I couldn't get the nice momentum going so it was a straight road well to be honest it's been now uh, it's going to be almost 40 minutes soon. Uh, we well, are just down 1.8 miles again. But this is going down the hill, so it's not it's not what I want to try because it's going to be the true reading. But as you can see, getting a bit better at it. Making new turns before we just flipping the board, coming off the board and then flipping it. Now actually staying on the board and making you turns but again you see if you notice the speed I'm doing I'm not going over 14 15 miles an hour because as non-professional as a you know just a normal user I find it to be more comfortable you know So I'm probably going to get, well, definitely get about seven, eight miles out of it. So yeah, cruising at 16, 17, well, what's the average? Oh, that's, that's strange because it's showing average being 10 miles an hour. It's strange. So I'm sure I was going faster than that. So as you can see, I clocked the 20 miles an hour top speed again. So it does once in a while reach speeds of 20 miles an hour. You know, so it's not too bad. So I think it would be fair to say. So the last bit of this video, as you can see I'm back in my garage, the board is fairly dirty, take a look, all the motors are covered, all the, uh, the batteries covered, but it does state that the board is splash proof. I think I found a solution to keeping the board clean, it's just some ultra grime whatever they are, it's like big wipes but for the garage so you can actually wipe tools down, your hands down and everything else you got some sort of chemicals in it obviously to fight dirt I'm actually doing quite a good job anyway, sorry the video is not about the the wipes obviously so, in conclusion on the box of Flex Flexi E-Board it does state that the board can go up to 
22 miles an hour. In my case, because I'm a heavy bloke, I said before that the board was tested at uh, with a person of 80 kilograms. I am 110 with clothing, probably 113, 14, 22 miles an hour. I was able to get the board up to 21 miles an hour on a flat surface, no help from going downhill, on a flat surface uh, up to 21. So yes, the first one, the top speed of 22, I couldn't get 22, but you could definitely, definitely get 20. 20 I was getting all the time. 21 is the top speed. The range. So this video was all about the true review about the range of this board. Well, you saw it already on my uh, app that I was using for uh, testing this board. This board truthfully gets to about seven miles so seven mile range is the truthful range of this board i've done it twice i will probably upload both videos to be honest with you because i'm referring back to the video that you guys have not seen but i've done a video yesterday which i have not uploaded yet the pure reason is because my app did stop halfway through but I have estimated the range yesterday and I was about seven miles and uh, well it looks like the estimation was actually quite correct this board's uh, range is seven miles top speed that I was able to get was 21 miles but for a very short time not because board couldn't do it, it's just because I was not feeling comfortable on the board. One positive part about all uh, this board that I've noticed just, just today is that even if the battery is dead, you still have your brakes. I don't know if it's the way it was designed, but the test showed that if the battery is quite flat, well, flat so that it does not uh, the board does not go anymore you can still stop that is big thumbs up big thumbs up for having the brakes on if the battery is dead because there's something you don't want to do is be rolling down the hill battery is almost dying and all of a sudden boom no brakes so hopefully you guys like this video I know what else can I do as for videos of this board uh, I've done everything so far really uh, well that's it I will probably do some sort of catch up video later on see how the board and battery is doing after using the board for a couple of months or so or maybe I'll do a video if I have to do some sort of repairs or maintenance on the board like changing belts and things so that's it really well thank you very much for bearing with me i really hope you like the videos uh i've done pretty much everything i could uh do about skateboard electrical skateboard there's nothing i can compare it with well maybe someone will send me board to compare it to this board but at the moment i'm not this kind of youtuber as yet so so long and good luck and uh, if I don't talk to you soon, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, bye.